Proteins are very important to living things. Proteins are long chains of molecules that we call amino acids. These amino acids have um, a structure such that on one side there's a, an amino group, on the other side a carboxyl group, and then when you put two of these together, the amino group sticks to the carboxyl group where they combine, a hydrogen finds a hydroxyl uh, uh, subgroup, and those two combine to form a water molecule. The water molecule moves out of the way, and what's left behind are the two molecules stuck together in what's called a peptide linkage. But the beautiful thing about it is that the ends, now that are exposed, are still sticky, uh, carboxyl group for amino and amino for car carboxyl, so that the chains can get longer and longer and you form a kind of stuff. And it's out of this protein stuff that living things make brain stuff and hair stuff and skin stuff and all kinds of stuff of, of living organisms. Let me show you how it works uh, with some molecules which actually are not um, amino acids. In fact, in this jar, which contains a liquid that uh, looks a little bit like water, are dissolved molecules. And these molecules are such that they have amino groups on both sides. Well, amino groups are not sticky to other amino groups, so as long as they stay in this jar, there's nothing to stick together. Over in this jar, we have molecules that have carboxyl groups on each end. Well, carboxyl groups are not sticky to other carboxyl groups. As long as they stay in the separate jar, they don't stick together either. So the question is, well, what happens if we put these together would these actually then stick together to form some kind of stuff? So let me see if I can do it uh, carefully. Um, let's uh, put a little bit of this in our beaker. And then a little bit of the other kind, gently down the edge there so that they kind of don't bubble together too badly. And then, very carefully, take uh, tweezers. And uh, where these have come together, there's a kind of milky material that has formed. These molecules are attached to one another. And if I wrap that up there, around there like that, and pull it out, I can uh, make this stuff form a long, stringy material, and I can just turn that, and it just keeps coming, and coming, and coming out of the jar where those molecules have stuck together. Now this stuff that I've created this way is a kind of nylon, and uh, there I think, except for the knitting needles, go pantyhose, a kind of nylon stuck together. But in living things, the things that stick together are the amino acids, and they form proteins. And the proteins are the stuff out of which we make hair and skin and brain and liver and all of those things of, uh, that give structure to living things.